Arlington Mayor-elect Jim Ross, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, congratulations. And what is your reaction to your victory and why do you think you enjoyed so much support? Uh, my reaction is I'm thrilled and I'm honored uh, that we've gotten so, so many supporters come out and vote for us, both in the main election and in the runoff. Um, I think I enjoyed that kind of support is because of my life experiences. I think I'm, I'm, I'm very relatable to the average citizen here in Arlington. I, I, um, I grew up inner city. I came to Arlington in 83 with no education right out of the Marine Corps. I went to TCJC, which is now TCC and UTA and Dallas Baptist. I didn't get my undergrad till I was 35. I was a police officer here. I, I came through those roads that give us a tremendous amount of life experiences. And I think people appreciate that and they can relate to it. And do you think you have a mandate? I mean, when you were out campaigning, what were voters telling you they wanted to see? You know, the vast majority of the voters love the direction Arlington has taken under Mayor Jeff Williams. And I think the mandate is, listen, we don't want to lose that momentum. We want to keep growing. We want to keep getting bigger and better and, and getting to the next level. And I think that's, that's what I hear from the vast majority of the voters here. And so does that entail really just uh, making sure that the plans to expand the entertainment district are, you know, they're executed properly? No, no, not to the contrary, actually, you know, we've been able to do really well in building our entertainment district and, and I don't want to stop that momentum. I think the entertainment district is what helps identify us as the entertainment capital here in at least the Southwest United States. Um, but Arlington, you know, with our term limits now, we have six year term limits, and that's not a lot of time to get everything accomplished that you need to get accomplished. And one of the things that we haven't done as well in is to be a proponent and make Arlington more attractive for small businesses. And that's really where we need to be focusing now is listen, we got our entertainment district going, but we have to become attractive to bring in developers, business owners, entrepreneurs that want to bring their families and do business here in Arlington. And so how do you go about doing that? Well, it's not a, a single layered approach. It's a multifaceted approach. If I want to attract entities here in Arlington to do business here, we have to make sure that our schools are top notch. We have to make sure that our infrastructure and transportation is top notch and that we are protecting our community with our first responders, our police and fire. So let's break it down because you mentioned a couple of those issues. As far as transportation is concerned, um, obviously there's still construction going on with the big interchange uh, at 30 and um, uh, 160, uh, 160, not 161, 360. Yeah. So um, I'm just wondering, you know, that should help, uh, I would imagine, with some of the traffic, uh, right? But what else are, do you think the city needs to look at? Well, yeah, you know, unfortunately, COVID has slowed a lot of that production down, a lot of the, 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 the development of our roadways down. Um, we are now on the tail end of the COVID pandemic, and we're able to get that the, the construction going down, going down faster. So I'm excited about the completion of that. Um, we have VIA here in Arlington to help transportation get around city and VIA isn't necessarily the perfect fit, but it's a very innovative fit for Arlington that we have to work at fine tuning a little bit. Um, I've ridden it on a number of occasions for the purpose of trying to figure out exactly how well we can get people around. And we have to make some adjustments to that, maybe make some adjustments with our handy trans system as well. See, there's a couple of issues. How do we get our citizens in and around Arlington safely? And then how do we move communities in and out of Arlington to other business centers in the North Texas area efficiently? And those are really two separate things right now because VIA is limited to within the city limits itself. And, uh, and that's 
something that the city pays for and which people can call up via? Yeah, I mean, it's a privately held company and the city helps subsidize that company and people can call up via and get rides and you can get rides for $3 any, any one way trip to anywhere within the city. There, it does have its limitations. It's not a portal to portal type of transportation system. In other words, you're not going to have it like a, uh, a Lyft or Uber or something like that, where they're going to pick you up right at your front door. So they may, you may have to walk a block or two to get to where they can pick you up and same thing when they drop you off. Um, and it is a ride share system as well, so that you may end up in a, in a van with one or two other people. And as far as uh, your experiences as a police officer, um, what opportunities do you think uh, the Arlington Police Department has? And uh, what's your sense of the support, um, you know, from community members, people who live in the city have for the police department? You know, I have enjoyed a wonderfully good relationship with the Arlington police since my early days as a police officer in 1983. That does not mean that my relationship with the police do not allow me to understand or empathize that there are a number of social issues that need to be addressed in every major city in this country. In fact, I think it's just the contrary to that. I think it en enables us to address those issues more appropriately. And I think if you pull the police officers, you're going to find that police officers have the same type of understanding and they want the relationships with the community to get better. It was tough during the pandemic because one of the ways that we improve those relationships is being close with our neighborhood policing and our community-based policing. And when you're in a lockdown and a pandemic, you're not able to do those type of things. You and I are still speaking on Zoom for convenient purposes right now, but how, how long have we been doing Zoom meetings? It's now become second nature to us, but it doesn't enable us to develop that relationship that is so necessary to get in our community to a real safe environment. You know, what, citizens in Arlington are really entitled to is transparency in their government, whether it's the fiscal transparency, whether it's the uh, police transparency, people need to have an understanding that we're doing everything in our power to take care of them. And that's one of the things that we really have to focus on. So I'm hoping my experience as a police officer, my experience of being undercover and buying drugs on the streets of this city for years will help me help it pay off in developing a much better understanding. Uh, what else do you hope to accomplish? Well, Lord, jobs, jobs, and more jobs. That's one of the biggest things there is we got to we got to get back um, our ability to be attractive to industry who wants to come here and bring their employees here and establish their businesses here in Arlington. We do that by like what we talked about, improving our educational systems here, improving our infrastructure and keeping our first responders real safe. It's not an overnight task. It's not something that is done easily, um, but uh, I'm excited to get busy on it because I think uh, I know how to bring the jobs. I, I employ almost 100 people here in the city myself with my various businesses. I know what it's like to have to meet payroll every other week and have to take care of people who are taking care of their families. So I get it. And it's critically important that we do that. And in order to do that, we have to make our schools better, our roads better, and our, our police fire better. And uh, you own uh, the law firm in which you are sitting at now where, where we're talking. And then you also own a restaurant. Is that right? I do. I own a uh, fine dining steakhouse in Arlington as well. All right. And, and so let me ask you one other question. Uh, you said something the other night that, that struck me. Uh, and that was that you never really planned on running for mayor. But <laughs> when you didn't see anybody else step up who you could support, you decided to throw your hat in. And I'm wondering, you know, that's not an easy decision, especially if you have uh, two businesses that you had mentioned. And so I'm wondering why, why do this? Well, 
I love this community. Um, I, I am Arlington proud, Arlington strong. This has been my home for the vast majority of my life and almost all of my adult life. Um, I, I'm the only candidate that's ever run for anything that's actually worked for the city as a first responder. Um, I get it. Uh, I, I, this community has given so much to me when I was a police officer, so much to me as a business owner here that when I'm sitting back and I'm looking at where our city is going and where it's been, and I see someone like Mayor Williams and, and he's at the end of his term, um, if he was able to stay here, I'd still be running my businesses and focusing on helping him do everything he can to continue to make our city better. Um, but when he's termed out and I'm looking to say, who else can step up and do this? I wasn't comfortable with anybody else stepping up and saying, we can do this. We had, I had seven opponents in this thing when it started. And um, uh, I just wasn't comfortable with it. And I went to a fundraiser for a city council and a uh, city council member here and uh, standing next to me was a buddy of mine. And I just happened to make the comment of what in the world are we going to do when Jeff's term's up? And that was a couple of years before his term was up. And he jokingly said, well, you're going to be mayor. And here we are. <laughs> you know? So um, it turned out to be the case. I couldn't be happier. Uh, you're going to be hard pressed to find anybody, whether a candidate or not, who loves this community more than I. I am seriously biased when it comes to this city, and uh, I'm looking forward to doing the best I can by the city. Arlington Mayor-elect Jim Ross, thank you so much for your time and congratulations again. Thank you, Jack. I appreciate you. Have a great day.